Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another promo Friday is upon us. Does this World Cup Stories promo have the hype to bring some hype back to FIFA today as the past couple of days in this game have just not been that extra special, right? They've just been okay with a road to the World Cup cards and the World Cup icons. Well, we're getting new World Cup icons today and brand new cards in packs as the previous promo cards will be going out of packs. I want to take a look at what is to come with this promo today, what we expect to see, and then also regarding ones to watch and path to glory upgrades today, late tonight, not around content time. If EA do it like they did earlier in the week, we could have our second round of upgrades to these live cards and of course to the ones to watches like Dest, like Tyler Adams and some of those other ones like Rudiger and Schlotterbeck that are now deserving of some upgrades. So I want to take a look at that and also talk about the market because is, since the game has not been that hype or the content has not been super duper hype the past couple of days, is today going to be a day that kind of rises that hype back up with the new promo or will it just be a day of supply and lightning rounds and maybe not a whole lot going on? We're going to take a look at that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start by diving into the loading screen that we had just really quick. And again, we don't know what this promo is exactly about, but we're starting to get a good guess because of the cards that are shown on the loading screen, they match up to the leaks, ex except for this card in the middle. 91 passing and Portuguese. It would make sense with the way that these cards are looking via the leaks that that would be Bruno Fernandez. Some people are saying Joao Felix, but that'd be a huge passing upgrade. And if it makes sense to you, like it does to me, a lot of the leaks that we have right now are for cards and players that have performed well at the World Cup, stories of the World Cup so far this year as the tournament has been going on, right? Richarlison, arguably goal of the tournament. This card, if these are the exact stats, are not very good. It's just a small plus one over his ones to watch card if you have that one. But of course, being recognized with a card in the game, for his insane goal that he had during the tournament. This is our USA card as an objective today, right? This is our objective uh, according to the leaks. Mr. Tim Weah, that's a very pacey card, fits the meta, and my US boys will love, would love to get that done. Um, so there's our objective card there. It's a nice one right there. Moving on, we've got a Xhaka card that, to be completely honest, just looks like the Paulinha SBC, even worse than that. Um, so that's going to be a pretty cheap card. Probably not that hype unless you're an Arsenal fan or a Swiss fan. For that one right there, we have an Alfonso Davies left wing. Some of these leaks you guys may have already have seen, but I want to scroll through them pretty quick. Hopefully, he has left back available to him as well. But, you know, a, a moments for our stories card for Alfonso Davies for scoring the first Canada goal at the World Cup, right? That's deserved for him there as well, even though they're now out of the tournament. But that's kind of how this promo seems to be, right? A lot of these players, as we've seen the leaks, is just it's just a representation of players that have performed somewhat well at the World Cup so far, whether it's been scoring goals or holding clean sheets for some of the defenders. Asensio scored some goals. Laporte, right, Spain has been doing very, very well, apart from yesterday's game um, against Japan. And then, of course, the early on leaks, we have Sané. We, you guys have seen these. We have Rashford, and you guys have seen the first one, of course, um, Van Dyke. So that's one of the cards in the loading screen. We believe it's Van Dyke, Bruno Fernandez and um, Asensio. So we're a little unsure. There's probably going to be more leaks today talking about what cards are going to be out. We also don't know what SBC will be today. So it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a surprise heading into a promo Friday. We know the objective is way up. We don't know about our, our SBC yet, and we will probably see some more leaks today about different cards that are going to be in packs as well. So that's what is happening today. Now, we also know we're going to get new icons in packs. So for you guys that were looking to pack Figo or Drogba or trying to, uh, you know, maybe even to buy a World Cup icon from Team 1, um, these cards are going out of packs. Like this is Ambrata, who was in the mini release. Uh, I traded with, with one this evening, bought it for 440, sold it for 480. He is up a little bit. A lot of these World Cup icons, just because they're so rare and they're pretty hyped up, I think they will rise a little bit out of packs. Probably not anything super duper crazy, but you know, some slight rises as the team two of the World Cup icons is dropping today doesn't seem to be that incredibly hyped. Um, I think Team 1 is going to end up being better. So that's just something to watch out for. But we'll have new World Cup icons and packs today as well uh, as a part of the content. And that's probably going to be it, right? Again, what really matters today in terms of is it going to be a hype day on the game is 
the SBC content, right? We know the objective. We don't know the SBCs. Will EA surprise us again this week with like a big upgrade pack SBC on a Friday? In my opinion, they probably will not. And that was a thing that we saw last week with Black Friday, right? We had like the 87 plus icon and the 86 plus foot hero upgrade on the weekend. I think one of those is on a Saturday, but I don't think we're going to have a big upgrade SBC like this re-released today. We will still have the 86 plus hero in the game today so there will still be people maybe trying to going uh to complete that one but a lot of your upgrade packs of course the year interview player pick uh the 87 max icon that goes away or 87 plus icon goes away today at content time so those are going to be going away we'll talk about that in relation to fodder in a second but the way that it seems and with the way that content's been going on this game is it going to be a really hype day today? What, where's the hype, right? And first of all, you think about this, you say, is there going to be panic selling uh, for the, most of the market? Like, let's say you have a gold Cristiano Ronaldo in your team. You're like, Nate, I bought this Ronaldo guy last week at like 80K and, and now he's 95. Do I need to sell this card today? To be honest, I don't think you need to panic sell your team today. There's really, as I look at it, not much content is dropping today apart from some cool new cards to try out. They would really make the market crash. I'm not expecting a market crash today. The only thing I'm a little worried about is the supply. Once again, like we saw last week, we had lightning rounds. And usually Black Friday is the first weekend of the year where we have a lot of lightning rounds in FIFA. And then every single weekend after that, we continue to get lightning rounds. Uh, so I do believe that we'll see 50k, 100k, 125, and maybe some of those star player pack lightning rounds throughout the day today on Friday and into the weekend with this new promo being out. So just watch out and expect those. Now, I'm also pretty curious about um, the pack weight today because, as you can see, Road to the FIFA World Cup players 8.6% out of a 100,000 coin pack, 4.3% uh, out of a... 50k pack, which I believe this has been updated because if I remember correctly, last week on Black Friday out of a 50k pack, the Road to the World Cup players, it was only like a 1% chance. And I think EA had the pack weight turned way down last Friday because so many packs were going to be open with all the lightning rounds and everything in the store at that time. So I think they may have turned the pack weight down. That makes me think that maybe some of the World Cup stories cards that drop on the game today will be supplied a bit more and maybe will end up being a little bit cheaper because of a higher pack weight. So we'll just have to see what it's like when they drop on the market today. Also, it depends. Will they drop another store pack? In my opinion, I think they will because I really do feel like EA is trying to work in some more tokens in the store. We only have had two Two, right the two foundations packs from last weekend so watch out for another store pack today they could literally just re-release one of the same ones that they had i guess even though one of them was called black friday maybe we'll have a store pack today to keep an eye out for that as well so again in, in general when we talk about panic selling for the market today i wouldn't expect to see a lot i mean i think your path to glory cards if you've invested in those you're looking for the upgrades coming later tonight late or maybe into tomorrow on saturday in the early morning hours I really wouldn't be panic selling any of these. Of course, for the clubs, for the for the nations that play today, maybe you take a look at selling in the hype just in case you want to take the safe profit there. If there's an, a situation today, maybe if it's like you've got Milinkovic, Savage, and they're on the verge, you know, they're right now not in the the advancing, but you know, with a win they could advance type of thing. So maybe you sell into the hype with a few of those cards or, or whatever, but. You know, I would just not expect a lot of panic selling today just because I don't think a lot of people are scared um, about what is to come content-wise today. It's been a pretty quiet week, and it might just be one of those promo Fridays where there's not that much hype unless EA do something special. And I think, again, like I said, the place where they would do that is in SBCs. We'll just have to wait and see what kind of content they drop today. And EA surprises, man. Drop something sick. We would love that. Now, with all the supply coming today, I do want to talk about SBC fodder because... This is a part of the market that needs to drop a lot, and I think it's going to start dropping today. Now, you've already seen 84s go down. We had supply yesterday. Uh, 85s are still pretty high, but they're going to come down, in my opinion. 86s are going to come down. Think about what we talked about, right? That 87 max um, icon SBC is going away, right? That SBC is going to expire today. You still have the hero SBC that is out there, but I think most people at this time have probably done at least that SBC once, and the demand for that SBC is probably continuing to dwindle over the next day or two. I still think that this SBC will help the fodder market a little bit, but with all the supply and with a lot of these other upgrade packs, like the player picks and stuff in here that people use to grind and craft SBCs like this one, 
going away, I think that, you know, you will see the demand for those fodder cards drop. So especially with this SBC going away and this year in review going away, I think you're going to see some of the fodder market drop off. But I would say watch out for the supply today because this SBC specifically requires those 85s. And I think that's why the 85s are maintaining a pretty high price. People are gambling on this pack because it's not that expensive. It's just cheap enough that they can do it. If they get some fodder cards from upgrade packs or weekend league rewards or whatever, this is still available. And I'm sure some people haven't finished it yet. So watch your 85s today because I think besides the 85s, most of the fodder market should probably keep dropping though. I think your 84s are probably going to drop a bit more. Your 86s will go down a bit. And I think your high tier fodder too will probably trickle off today because a lot of that high tier fodder was was needed in the 87 plus icon pack with an 87 squad with an 85 squad in there and you know some other people doing icon sbcs maybe doing messy messy expires today he had a higher rated squad as a part of his sbc as well so i think your high tier fodder is going to start to trickle down today with the lightning round supply and all the packs that we will have there now it could be a good look this weekend later on so just keep an eye out for those prices dropping today on the game that's kind of what i would expect to happen with those now well, arguably more hype than the promo starting today uh, for some people is the path to glory cards and the ones to watch cards that should be getting upgraded today now we say should right we're saying should because according to how ea did things earlier in this week they upgraded these path to glory cards like bruno gameresh the french guys like in kunku or griezmann these guys got upgraded after their match day two because they clinched the spot in um the knockout rounds right and of course a lot of these cards have gone up in price a ton Griezmann is up like 100k since he got upgraded I think that your second batch of upgrades is coming tonight Friday night into Saturday midnight UK time that is the exact time that EA tweeted it out earlier in the week when we had upgrades to some of those cards like the Richarlison wants to watch the Anthony wants to watch now tonight there's going to be a ton of upgrades if that does end up being the case you're going to look at guys like Dest and Adams that are going to get upgraded. Of course, your PTG cards, um, you know, some of the most popular guys like uh, that are advancing from the games earlier on this week, Christian Pulisic, Ito, Buffal, Brozovic, uh, Carvel Hall is going to get upgraded, Grealish, Kyle Walker, Koulibaly, Milik. Those are going to be some of the PTG cards. De Young, there's going to be a lot of cards that will be upgraded uh, late today, hopefully if they follow that trend. Again, it's not a 100% guarantee, but it seems very, very likely that they will do that since of how they did it earlier in the week. But there are some nice upgrades coming today or coming very soon with these cards. So I would, again, if the content is not that exciting or not that hype today, probably after the upgrades, these cards are just going to kind of trickle back up in price a little bit. Uh, now, I would say that also some of these cards could end up going down in price because this will be a time where, especially for a guy like maybe Ito, who's not expected to progress in the, further, in the tournament that much further, or maybe Buffal, for some of these guys that were kind of like surprises, if you will, not that they're playing poorly, of course, they deserve to be in the knockouts after their performances, but surprises in the fact that they're not expected to go too much further in the tournament. These sorts of cards may drop off a little bit as they're probably expected, right, to lose uh, a little bit later on as the knockouts start tomorrow on Saturday. Um, so just kind of watch out for that. But especially with some of these upgrades, like I'm super excited for the Pulisic card. I've got one of these. Uh, I've sold two now at 97K for Lazies. Ooh, that's a nice undercut there on Pulisic. But, you know, I just think that these cards are going to maintain their prices decently well just with how the way the market is right now and just being kind of quiet. So watch out for those. There should be plenty of movements on the market related to that. Now let's talk trading today too, right? Because if the market's going to be a bit quiet today what kind of stuff would you want to be looking out for if you're trying to make coins well i'd honestly say that if you're trying to make coins what we always do is trading with the brand new promo cards is always hype because people want to try these cards out right even though we say this promo might be a little bit dead you got a promo card for rashford right that's a big upgrade for him you got a sane card with maybe a weak foot upgrade who knows you've got a laporte card left footed center back with 80 pace making this card usable there will be plenty of promo cards in this team today or the world cup icons that will be very 
very tradable with. Now, I don't know what the trends are going to look like. I, I can't exactly say uh, far ahead of time when the cheapest point is going to be for a lot of these World Cup stories cards inside of the first couple hours. I doubt it would be the first hour. Um, I don't think there's a ton of saved up packs. So just kind of watch these cards as they move on the market because people will be excited to try the new cards that drop on FIFA like they are every week. Now, I will say for the World Cup icons, if you'd like to trade with icons, this last Friday was a fantastic day. I remember specifically the Petite card rose like 150K after reaching a very, very low point on that first night. Uh, Drogba last Friday night was like... Six, it was like 700k or 670. He went all the way above, um, like 800k or something like that on that first night. So, really, really, really watch the World Cup icons because there's a lot of World Cup icons that are dropping today that are kind of probably going to be in that like 300,000 coins, like a million coins threshold. So, Watch in that range. If you want to try one of them out, just be monitoring their prices because we will get supply today and there will be fluctuation on them. But I would also say uh, there should be some really good opportunities to trade with them as well. And when it comes down to the, the promo cards that we have right now, the Road to the World Cup, uh, these cards, you know, I think that we'll see a little bit of rise out of pack on some packs on some of these. Not saying they're all going to absolutely explode, but I would say keep an eye on some of your most popular ones like the Marquinhos that we looked at here. Uh, I flipped. I actually got a really lucky snipe on a Marquinhos earlier today. I bought a Marquinhos at uh, 500,000 coins. Somebody must have packed him from marquee matchups and just listed him up. And instead of a six, this at a five or still, that's a very, very cheap price. But anyways, um, I, pa I got a good snipe on this guy yesterday and uh, he was good profit for me. But I think that this guy is so rare. I think that the Sonaldo card is so rare that there will be great opportunities to be trading with some of those cards in the market today. Watch your icons. Watch your path to glories. Anything that is meta uh, on the game today should do pretty well. And, and watch, you know, especially some of these path to glories. I've been, you know, watching this Goretzka tonight. Um, you know, Goretzka and the Germany cards, of course, after one of the most insane days of, of football I think I've ever seen. And what what a day. 449, I will take that. Thank you, Goretzka. That's a 50K undercut, and he was like 520K earlier. Um, I'm going to try to quick flip this Goretzka card now. That's just what we're going to do. I don't know how that card was just sitting there for five minutes. Uh, 50K, 45K under the cheapest buy it now. But this Goretzka card for me into today on Saturday, I'm, I'm watching it, right? Because there's a lot of panic selling post the game. And there is a lot of supply. A lot of people are listening and trying to get out. The one thing I don't like, and probably why I'm going to try to make a quick flip out of this, is all of the overnight listings. I mean, guys, don't be this guy, all right? If you're going to buy a card to flip, don't be the guy that lists up a bunch of them at 550 overnight for a couple of hours. Like, there's a whole bunch of these listed with zero games played current club. That is not how you want to list your cards if you're going for like an overnight flip. Legit, if you bought like more than one or two for an overnight flip, if you're on a huge, huge budget, then honestly, what I would say to do is list one or two and then wait and see what the price is. If you're, if you're, you know, hoping that it's going to be a, a profitable trend or a profitable fluctuation, wait to see what the price is after you wake up. If you're listening overnight and then go to sell the card as you monitor the price like one at a time, right? It's just not a place on the market where you want to be mass listing cards. So I've got a Goretzka. I did pick up a Carrasco or two at about 51,000 coins. I did also pick up a Serge Navri at 35K. I know he's literally minimum price. He cannot go any lower. The reason I picked that up is because I think this card in a week's time or two weeks time, as long as EA don't update the price range today or tomorrow while he's being panic sold still, I do think that he'll end up being... Uh, around like a 45,000 coin card because again, Bayern links, um, you know, German links. This is just a card that a, a lot of people will use because it's Bayern. And again, these types of links are so important with the chemistry, the, the way that it is this year in FIFA. So I would absolutely keep an eye out on this Nabry card. I picked one up for discard because I think there's not a lot of risk there, even though he is minimum price. Uh, now for Lukaku, I don't like Lukaku as much. I like Nabry more. 412,000 games played for Lukaku. How many for, for Nabry? Nabry's got 519,000 games played. So more games played for him also bodes well for his price to rise back up a little bit just because of the hype of that card and the usability of it. How many does Pulisic have? 141,000? Wow, that's crazy. I guess Pulisic was um, you know, in the, the second team. So that would hurt his time as well, not having as much time in the game. But 
you kind of see what I'm going with there. I'm trying to trade with the cards that are the most used, that are the most popular. If again, if you're trying to trade for today, watch the rare cards. Icon should be good today. You know, it just might not be one of those promo Fridays where it's like a wow promo Friday. You know, it just might be like, okay, we got some sick new cards. Let's see what SBCs we get. Open a couple packs, see if we hit anything, maybe do an objective or two. Oh, last thing. We should we should get some more tokens today. I think we might get four more tokens. That's been the Friday trend. They drop the showcases on the Fridays where they drop like the uh, rivals slash squad battle tokens. So right now we're on 40 tokens in total. If they drop four more today, we'd be at 44. Potentially a store token, maybe. Maybe take us to like 45. So if you're on the token grind right now, maybe a couple more tokens today. I would watch out for that being in the store as well. So we'll just see, right? It's kind of nice rolling into a promo Friday where it's like, all right, EA Sports, let's see what you got, right? If you're going to drop something sick, then show us. And if EA, if you would like to fix... The menus here, that would be fantastic. I'm getting really tired of having to search every single time or going and searching in the squad menu screen for uh, cards instead of searching on the market here because every time you back out, it, of course, um, removes your search. So that is very annoying. As you can see, it just did right there. So hopefully EA fixed that very soon. And uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be the video for today. Hopefully it's a great promo Friday. I'll be live streaming the content drop. We'll be checking out the new cards, checking out the game, and see what EA has in store for us today on promo Friday. So if you're excited for the promo today, hit a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.